So today, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any version of your iPod Touch. So, um, I've already made a video of this before, but um, I didn't do it as well as I wanted to. So, because um, my installer was crashing, which rarely ever happens. So now this is my regular iPod Touch. Now my icons are kind of whack because that's how they were when I had it jailbroken. And it doesn't have any uh, jailbreaking stuff right now. So, uh, so the icons are kind of weird, but when you're done, you can move them around. So I'm running version 1.4, and I've done this program before, and it says it works for iPod or iPhone, and it does it on all versions. I'm using iPod Touch on 1.1.4, and just a couple minutes ago, I just restored mine. So it's like brand new. I just put my music back on there. So first, you're gonna want to go to Google and type in Xiphone or Zphone. Doesn't really matter. It's spelled Z I P H O N E. Click Enter, and you're gonna click on the first one. That says Xiphone blog, and it's just Xiphone.org is the address. So it's gonna go to here, and it takes a little bit to load. So now, um, you're gonna click right here. Just click here to download Xiphone main, and it'll show whether you're running uh, Windows or Mac. Click on whichever one you're running. I am actually running Vista, but I downloaded a program called Vista OS X to make my Vista look like a Mac. So I am running a uh, Vista. So it'll start downloading, and mine says it'll take about a minute. So I'm gonna come back to you when that's done. All right, wait. So it's not done yet, but uh, while you're waiting, you can just uh, right-click on your desktop and go to New, and click on a folder. You're gonna name this Xiphone. Like that doesn't really matter what you name it, but I'll just name it iPhone. I'm sorry, mine doesn't show up as a folder as the icon, it shows up as that little piece of paper. I don't know why, but that's just what it does. So now I have about 20 seconds remaining. I'll just show you guys this part. So, uh, um, what this does is it just gives you a uh, Installer, which is where you're gonna get all your games and applications from. They're called apps, but the full name is applications. So, um, it'll give you a internet shortcut on your homepage for Xiphone's blog. But you can just take that off once it's uh, done jailbreaking. I don't know if you can get the software upgrade from um, the iPhone apps because um, you can get it for free from installer. But I don't know if you can get them any higher, any lower than 1.1.3 because I think it requires you having version 1.1.3 or higher to get them. So if you want the Xiphone, um, I mean the iPhone apps for free, you're gonna have to have a later version. So it's gonna show up with this. You're gonna double click it, click run. Um, click OK on this, click unzip, and it all should do something. Here, let me try this again. Okay, wait, here it is. Oh, here is the iPhone. So I guess you didn't need to folder it. I think it 
put it somewhere else. But show with this. Um, if you have an iPhone, you can click do it all. I don't know anything what it does. It unlocks it, activates it, and jailbreak it on one. I don't know what the activator unlock is because I just have an iPod. So it doesn't matter. You can always just click jailbreak if you just want to jailbreak your iPhone. And then it'll start this and make sure that uh, iTunes uh, has detected your iPod so it's like connected. Um, it'll just set that meter and then connect the iTunes screen, then all these white words. It's gonna be kind of freaky, but it all, um, it's gonna work out in the end. It's gonna show up with the Z. And it'll look like a turn off, and then it'll reboot. By now, uh, the process is about halfway. And you notice iTunes will pop up in the background, but that doesn't matter. Uh, more white words scrolling really fast. And if this doesn't work, you can just restore it and try it again. But that really never happens. And we'll show a Zorro with an iPhone. And. And it's about three fourths way down. And then it'll reboot again. And it has a little bit left. And it's. Oh, it just has to do that, and then I'll think it'll be done. I mean, I apologize, it still look like this. So, yeah. Oh, and there it goes, this, that screen. And it'll show a check mark saying it's done. And you can just X out of that. Um, it says iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Just click OK. Um, and go to remind me later when it shows that. Um, yeah, but mine just already had his iPod. So I don't think I, you have to restore it again. So you're going to slide to unlock. And here's a look something like this with the, the installer. It won't be right there. It'll be somewhere in the black part. But, and you still won't have the wiggle feature yet. It'll have ZB's, ZBreeze blog right there. But, uh, so now you can just um, click that eject button on iTunes. And you can unplug your iPod. And you can just, you don't need your computer anymore. So set that aside and click on installer. And you want to go to this tab that says sources and you have these things. Wait, first you want to go to install, then sources and community sources. Um, this will definitely get you a lot, well, not a lot, but the sources that you're going to need. All right, it'll say, so this message, you can read it. I'm not good, just click OK. Now it'll refresh, refresh your sources. And it'll come up with an update. I'll say two of them. And you're just going to click on update all. Update all. <clears throat> it'll do that. And then I think it'll refresh the sources again. Um, let's see here. It'll say that same thing it did earlier with community sources. Click OK. And it'll yep, it'll refresh refresh your sources again. And when it refreshes, if you don't have like tons and tons of sources, it'll take about thirty seconds at the most probably. So then you're gonna click the home button and it'll show up at that wheel turning.